So if uh, for some reasons uh, you you want to use a uh, free DNS for your domain, probably your hosting didn't provide name servers for your hosting. Uh, you can use this for your DNS or you for one reason or the other don't want to divulge your hosting name servers you can use this so what this does is it helps you connect your domain name to your hosting so i don't know how best to explain it but what i'm going to do now is to show you how to connect your domain to your hosting using this uh, free dns okay so i searched online and uh, most of what i what i saw on youtube was uh, we are uh, subdomains working with subdomains so i think it would be okay if i do something for domains so i have this domain that was flagged by i i was using cloudflare so it was if it was a uh, uh, flat by Cloudflare suspected for fizzing. I don't know why. So, but this is a legitimate domain, and uh, I'm using I'm using it for legitimate uh, purposes. So, for some reasons, they were flagged. So, I want to move my DNS from Cloudflare to free DNS. So, I'll, I'll walk you through the process. So, this is my domain here, and this is free DNS dot So, type type in this domain name. It will take you here you sign up register so you can do this with a free account so there's no need to go premium but if you feel like supporting you can go for the uh, premium account so but a free account will do the same thing so just sign up free here so just like me you get this when you log in after signing up and verifying your email so head on to domains and it will take you to this place okay so use this to add a domain into free dns okay so it will take you to this place so what to do is you change your domain dns to this afraid.org so there are four name servers here so just like this this domain these are, these are my name servers so i point them to this name servers so instead of using cloudflare i'm using this so make sure you remember there are one two three four name servers so there's always option to add more name servers so try as much as possible to add the four name servers so i would have loved to explain why you should add the four name servers that uh let's just keep that so just make sure you add the four name servers although two can still go so if you if you if you if you if you can't find a way to add the four of them you can still just go with the two okay so i've added the name servers the next thing is to connect my domain so type in the domain name choose this shared public or shared private any of these can go i think shared private will be fine so submit so additional sources so but your domain will be shown as broken domain has been marked as broken so come on come to your domains to see your domains here so okay so now your domain will be marked as broken if you don't connect the name servers or if the name servers have been synchronized so if they are synchronized you will find it here held active so otherwise it will show you broken so if you see broken just wait for some minutes some some hours if you just added the name servers and then refresh to get it so um that is it the next thing we're going to do is to connect our domain name to the hosting so click on manage here And you find where to configure so you find out that the name server um, uh, mail server has been configured already so they, that's where you have your mx 10 uh, you find your uh, colon 
mail.yourwebsite.com so by default is configured so you can just keep that uh, I also recommend you use a smaller number maybe one or zero uh, but for now just leave it as it is so we have to connect we have to connect this this and this to our hosting now to connect your hosting this is just what you need the hosting uh, the hosting IP this is my shared IP this is a shared hosting so this is my IP here so this is just what I need copy this and then connect this domain individually to the hosting so click on uh, this destination paste the destination and then you save okay so this has been configured do the same for www destination put in the domain name now you can do the same thing for ftp this ftp if you don't connect the ftp that means your ftp will not work that's file transfer protocol you will not it will not connect so you can do the same thing for all these other ones and then uh, we have a mail subdomain Okay. Save. So once you've done you've done this, wait for some few hours and then you can let's let's see if Okay, so it hasn't uh, reflected. So when it reflects, uh, my website will be up with the new domain name. So as you mean you want to add, uh, you want to build a site. You're building, you're building a website. Uh, you just have to go to your hosting and then start adding uh, maybe the add-on domain to the hosting or start installing anything you want on the hosting okay so this are up so but for some reason i my website is not yet reflected okay i think uh, it's about the catch okay so probably within some few hours the new setup will be reflected and i can use my website once again so that is it about um, using free dns to set up your hosting so if you have any question you can add that in the comments okay and you can check out my check check out my other videos on the there yeah.